me show you what I'm doing. This is my compost bin. And I'm digging down the bottom of it to get some good compost into my wheelbarrow because I'm going to put it on top of my garden. And we're in the month of December right now. And here in Kentucky, we have some pretty bad soil. The ground here in the Appalach Appalachian Mountains is pretty much like clay. Not sure why, but it's all over our property. Last year, I laid some cardboard down just like this. And then I purchased about 30 bags of compost for about $2 each. And I laid it on top of all of this cardboard for the whole winter. And we got some great produce this past spring. But this year, our finances are just a little bit different and our priorities are different. And we got a whole bin of compost. And initially, I kind of thought that rather than buying compost, I would just lay down the cardboard. And I learned real quick that the wind is constantly messing with my cardboard. So I really need, I really need to have some um, compost down on top of the cardboard. If nothing more than just to keep the cardboard in place. And, um, and then I'll water it like I've already done. But I'll water it some more. And the cardboard will actually spend the next three months breaking down. And then hopefully, because this is much more organic compost than what I used last year, that we'll have even a better garden than we did this past season. This past season was kind of an experimental thing for me. I'd never really grown tomatoes. I'd never really grown bell pepper. And so I had some good experiences. Um, I had a whole strawberry patch full of beautiful strawberry plants, but the strawberries never actually produced any berries. And I think it's because our poor soil content. So this year, that's me in my shadow. This year I am adding some compost to the cardboard. Um, it's a lot of work, so I don't think I'll be able to put it on all of the cardboard, but I'm going to put it in some of the trouble spots where the wind is really picking up the cardboard and, and running away with it. And, um, and it may take me more than just today to actually get it done. Um, if I if I take care of all the problem spots and I still have some problems, then I'll come out here and do a little bit more because I got quite a bit of compost over there in that compost bin. Because uh, initially we put the compost bin together just to keep the dogs out of the uh, bird scraps. You know, I've got um, quail and I got to clean their cages every week. And I was tired of the dogs digging around in the coil droppings when I would just throw it into the forest. So I got this great compost bin really just for the, just for, so I'd have a place to keep the quail clean up without the dogs getting into it. And now it's serving me a purpose. So anyway, I'm not a professional gardener. And like I said, this is kind of going to be my only, only my second year and really, um, doing this kind of thing, but the cardboard worked great last year, and so I'm going to try it again. And we'll see how things go in the spring. <laughs>